Hi everyone, I'm Anita and I'm coming to you live from Depict This. Today I wanted to show you a video that is going to cover a new to me vintage purse that I bought and something else a little special and I hope you'll enjoy it. So to start off with the purse, you can see it right here. I absolutely love this. I bought it a little while ago and I couldn't wait to show it off. I was going to save it for an outfit post but then I thought what better way to show it off than in a video where you can really see what's going on. So we have this tapestry detail on the front which is the first thing that drew my eye when I saw this on the internet for sale. I like the roses and the flowers and I really love how this tapestry is in almost pristine condition. I feel like it looks like it probably did when it was first made. So that's really special and I'm going to try and get the camera to focus on it for you so hopefully you can see how awesome it looks. It's really clean and just well looked after. The rest of the bag isn't in as nice condition as the front unfortunately. It's got a few kind of scuffs and marks around the place and I want to see if I can clean them off and kind of cover them with a little bit of white polish to make the bag really shine and look like it did when it was made all those years ago. Um, apparently it's from the 1950s, I don't know when or exactly where or anything like that but inside, the little clasp you can see pulls back, the label says it is made in Miami by Fay Met Design. So you can see the label there and it's kind of got this kind of gold fabric inside that matches the metal lip and it's a little bit damaged but it's still perfectly useful. Great, love it. So I really love the shape of this. It's like this triangle shape with the plain white back and the short strap which you can still put over your shoulder if you need to but I tend to carry it in the crook of my elbow. It's actually a really great size as well. I was a bit worried when I was buying it that it might be too small. I read the dimensions of the purse on the um, description obviously before I bought it but I can't really imagine how things look in my head from just going off numbers and measurements. I don't have a good head for distance and maths as my husband will tell you <laughs> on many occasions I've made him laugh on my guesstimations of how big the something is or how far away we are from the turn off. Anyway, um, so when I I opened the parcel, I was pleasantly surprised to see how large this is and just how beautiful a condition it's in. It's really great. I love it so much. So that's my vintage purse, but this is my everyday purse. As you can see, it's my Frada, which I like. Bought it in Europe for a cup for 25 euro or so, so that's good. And I just want to show you what's inside my handbag today. So most bloggers kind of do this as a meme, like with photos, they kind of lay out the contents and list what's inside, but I thought I'd do this by video as something a little bit different. So we've got the front pouch right there, and the back pouch as well, and, I'll, and the middle pouch. And it's quite a roomy handbag, which is great for fitting all my stuff in, but not so great when I want to transfer back to my old one here. So I kind of have to choose, pick and choose what I want to take with me. Anyway, so what's in my handbag? Well, pressed powder compact to take out, obviously. Um, it's this nice light colour and I actually really like this powder compact. It suits my skin tone, which is a bit hard to find because I'm so pale and white compared to most Australians that, yeah, they don't really sell many powders and makeup that actually suits my skin tone, so it's a bit of a hunt. I have my chapstick here as well. I love this lip balm. It's fantastic for all situations and it's this nice little pink colour as well so it looks quite good on as well. It's not just a pale lip balm, it works. It does two things. It's pretty and it's useful so that's good. I also have this concealer. As you can see it's not my skin tone at all but I'm really into the 1940s make do and mend. You don't throw things away, you use them up and you try and make sure that you don't waste your money so I'm using this up. I think I actually got given this by my sister but I still feel bad chucking it out so there you go. I also have this pink very shiny lip gloss that I'm wearing at the moment and I have this little bunny which is actually 
a white out tape and a razor all in one which I find very useful because I take a lot of notes I write things down and I draw and I don't like things getting messy so I like to clean it up with that I also have here a USB flash drive obviously being a bit of a tech nerd, geek, whatever you like to call it as I am I need to take this with me everywhere so I can transfer files and make sure I have stuff on hand when I need it so that's the first part of my handbag the second part is not quite as exciting but I still have some interesting stuff in there namely all my pens so you can see I have quite a few pens I tend to collect them um, I don't know just by accident I'll be like oh I need this pen and put it in my handbag and then before I know it I have a huge handful my two particular favorites though which I want to show you are this one here which my mum actually gave to me it came from a hotel she was staying in in Melbourne and I saw it with the pink and the gold kind of um, leafy design and I loved it and she gave it very kindly to me when I said that I loved it and I also have this pencil as you can see hopefully it's got like teddy bears and chocolate on it and it's really cute and I love this little donut charm dangle on the end it's a lot of fun to write with this one I also have a comb obviously so I can do my hair when I go out and that is the back of my handbag so not that many things in there but well onto the inside and I'm telling you there's a lot of stuff in there see <laughs> so first up we have my coin purse which I have to put all my change in because my wallet as much as I love it doesn't fit coins it carries all my notes and cards and things like that but unfortunately it's just not big enough to fit all the gold coins that I tend to pick up so this is it as you can see it's this nice kind of elegant design I really like it because it seems old-fashioned to me even though I bought it new and you might have noticed me feature it as a clutch in my last outfit post it actually works really well it's just kind of like a little handheld purse so it's a great wallet and I have my art diary next I have for kind of ideas and sketches this is this is my scribble notebook where I put things down when I need to um, if I'm out and I just need to draw a picture or something random as that sounds it does happen I did this one the other day and so you know this is it this is a great notebook I have my personal diary slash journal um, obviously I write all my personal thoughts and feelings and rants and raves inside here that even though I love writing on my blog and other places on the internet and stuff like Facebook but you can't always write everything so this is a great little thing for having those moments I actually started writing in journals when I was about 16 so I have a lot of them because I keep more next up glasses cases I have two because I actually have three pairs of glasses uh, one case holds my computer glasses, the other case holds my reading glasses, and then I wear my distance glasses on my face most of the time, except when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I think they hide my eyes, so I tend to take them off. And then I have my business card holder, which is kind of quite boring and a little bit ugly in my opinion. Um, I use that to hold on my store membership cards and everything, so you know, when you go out you can get your discount and get your little stamps. but. I have plans for this business card case. I'm going to deco it. I'm going to cover it with sparkles and bows and all sorts of fun shiny things so it looks really pretty. And also then it's going to match my phone. Ta -da! This is my iPhone, love of my life. Helps me stay organized with my little to-do list application and social media and I really couldn't imagine actually not having an iPhone anymore these days. It kind of takes down the weight of my um, handbag thankfully because I can listen to music on it and I can organize myself through it so you know that's really great whereas before I had to have another diary for my dates and calendar and my music player and stuff but here we go one of the last things my headphones so I can listen to my music on my iPhone and then I just have two little things 
oh, actually three other things that I'll show you my nail kit yeah because I don't know if you like me I hate going with a broken nail I always tend to make it worse so nail kits are essential and this cute little tape measure see isn't he gorgeous I saw this spotlight for like two bucks and I was like I have to have one of those so there yeah, was very much squeeing and I was just like yeah that's mine finally last but not least my little sewing kit as you can see like that you can actually see there was a space for scissors inside it, but I kept on forgetting that I had these scissors in my handbag and I would go to the airport and I would put my handbag on the scanner bag, tray and then it would slip through and then I'd get into trouble because I had scissors in my handbag and I couldn't take it through. So I decided after this happened numerous times to leave my scissors at home and that's why I just have that sewing kit without the scissors now. Anyway, that's the end of my what's inside my handbag meme video post. <laughs> it's a bit hard to know what to call it. This is the handbag now flattened because it's lost all its contents. And this is my other handbag because this is the one that I absolutely love. So I have to show it to you again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video from me. And I hope to see you guys around again sometime soon. Have a really great week and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.